Nicole coming in with a recipe for you today. Today's recipe is my Buffalo Rock Barbecue Boston Butt Roast Cooked in the Crock Pot. Um, I mentioned it a few videos back and I said I was going to show you how I make mine. So what you're going to need obviously is a pork roast, the Boston Butt Roast. The one that I'm using is a three and a half pound, um, but depending on however many people you're trying to feed, um, you would buy it, you know accordingly as far as size is concerned um you're also going to need a good old can of the buffalo rock ginger ale and not the um canada dry or the seagram's ginger ale it has to be a buffalo rock uh, ginger ale there's a difference and i'll show you in the video clip to follow um if you don't like ginger or the taste of ginger you can use something like a Dr. Pepper or a root beer, something that's a little more richer than, you know, say your regular sodas. Um, but experiment, you know, you know, this is just a foundation that you can build upon. Also, whatever seasonings you want to use, salt, pepper, garlic powder, whatever, just choose the seasonings that you like to use. Um, and a good bottle of barbecue sauce, either your homemade barbecue sauce or your favorite one um, off the shelf. So if you want to see how I make mine, stay tuned. Okay, everybody, let's learn how to make this Buffalo Rock. Boston butt pork roast in the crock pot. Um, this is the Buffalo Rock ginger ale that I mentioned, um, made here in the South in Birmingham by the Buffalo Rock um, Beverage Company. This has been around, oh gosh, since uh, I think 1901, is that what it says? Yeah, 1901, but it started um, during the Civil War. It was almost like a tonic, sort of like Coca-Cola was back in the day, and then they reformulated and all that good stuff. Now, this is not like your typical um, Seagram's ginger ale or um, Canada Dry ginger ale. It's a lot more richer. Um, it has a strong, when I tell you a strong ginger flavor, it is really, really strong. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you can get some kind of idea what I'm talking about. It has a really deep amber color. It almost puts you in the mind of a beer, but it's, uh, you know, alcohol free, obviously. And that's what it looks like. As you can see, very, very um, rich, deep amber color, very strong. Um, it's great in like, you know, on top of ice cream, like a float, almost like a root beer float, but a different kind of flavor. But it's really delicious. Um, I'm sure it's not sold everywhere. Um, the farther north you go, I'm sure the harder it'll be f to find it, but you can order it online. So anyway, all you're gonna do is just take you a little um, injector, you know, that you inject food with flavor injector and take a little bit in here and just kind of inject your roast. This is a, about a three and a half pound pork roast. Um, be careful because it will kind of come back on you because of the acidity or whatever, but take your time doing it. I came up with this recipe again <laughs> for a cooking contest and you can pretty much use any kind of soda you want but what I did I wanted something different and I like the flavor of the Buffalo Rock um, a good one to use would be like Dr. Pepper something that's sweet I guess you can call it or yeah more on the sweet side I guess I don't know but yeah Dr. Pepper would be good um, the cheer wine, if you're in, I think that's made in like South Carolina. Some of those that are more on the syrupy side, I guess, um, would be a good soda for this. But if you want to use um, Coke, Sprite, whatever, just knock yourself out. But I'm just injecting it a little bit to get some of that ginger flavor on the inside of uh, the roast. And again, this is a three and a half pound Boston butt pork roast. And it's gonna be really, really good. And again, this is a, uh, I mean, a really, really simple recipe. So I think that's enough pretty much on the inside. Now just season it however you wanna season it. I'm just using regular old, I guess you can call them house seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic, um, and a little onion powder. Simple, but you can go all out if you want to it's totally on you whatever kind of seasonings you want to use 
So, yeah. So, garlic powder, little onion powder. Make sure you season it all over, y'all. <clears throat> and you want to, I don't trim the fat because fat helps to flavor. And then it'll cook off while it's in the crock. Garlic powder. I'm use my other hand since I've touched the roast. Pepper. And I love using pepper, so I'm kind of heavy handed with the pepper. <laughs> okay. Now, Dollar Tree has this cool little um, barbecue seasoning mix. I don't know. I've seen a lot of you guys haul it, but if you haven't, check out Dollar Tree for this. This is a good one to use as well. I'm going to use a little bit of um, the charcoal barbecue because it has like four different, um, I'm hoping you can see that, four different sections. The lighting is really bad. And it has different flavors or seasoning flavors. Here's gonna wash my hands real, really quick. Sorry, y'all. Just don't wanna cross contaminate anything. Okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna use the one that says charcoal barbecue just to add a little mix to the um, roast. Flip it over. Do the same thing. Just a little added touch again. We'll wash this off. Okay, so once you get it all seasoned up, we're gonna put it in the crock. So let me move this stuff out of the way so I can get my crock over here for ya. Okay, I'll just replug it up because I don't feel like moving the camera. So here's my crock pot. I forget the size. This is like the big one. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all crock pot cookers know. If you have a smaller roast, obviously you can put it in a smaller crock. Um, but this one will fit pretty nicely in here so I'm gonna take my tongs cuz I don't wanna burn myself cuz mine has been preheating so I'm putting mine in fat side up so the fat can actually kind of melt over the roast as it cooks let's move this out of the all right so now all you're gonna do is take your ginger ale which some of it's in here in the glass and then the rest in the can. You're just gonna pour that right over your roast, pour it in the crock, pretty much. And you're gonna take your barbecue sauce. I'm just using Jack Daniels, um, the spicy original, whatever flavor that you have or wanna use, homemade, whatever, feel free to do that. I'm just gonna pour this whole bottle <clears throat> in here. I love the flavor of bourbon in it or the, well, whatever it is. In, uh, well, anyway, I love the flavor that Jack Daniels has. The whiskey flavor, let's put it that way. Because <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't drink liquor like that for real. But I like the flavor of this sauce and when it's used in cooking. Okay, so anyway, let's pour that on top. That's it. It's gonna cook down and make this glorious, when I tell you, really, really glorious sauce that you can spoon over it once it cooks down. It's gonna be fork tender. You just could, you know, peel it or use the fork to kinda peel it away from itself and it's gonna be really delicious. So anyway, this is gonna cook on high for about four to five hours so like if you're going to work you can do this in the morning when you come home you have a nice meal already done so yeah just put the top on put it on high and just let it do its thing so i'm gonna put it over here and when you see me again this is gonna already be done pop this over here real quick y'all and plug it up 
the line had been preheating already. Hear me adjust the camera really quick. Sorry, y'all. When I'm in the kitchen, it's kind of hard to do this alone. Whoops. Uh, here we go. All right, here I am. Bye. <laughs> My camera's all jacked. But anyway, yeah, we're going to cook that down for five hours. And when we come back, you'll see how delicious it looks and how it's going to be served. So, see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, everybody. Here is the finished um, barbecue pork roast or my Buffalo Rock barbecue Boston butt. <laughs> um, it's been cooked in my crock pot. Um, it's been cooking for about... Uh, five hours and as you can see it is fork tender and delicious and again so easy to make um, I'll have all the ingredients and the recipe listed below if you want to try this so yeah it's really really good so anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye y'all